Okay, now we're recording now, Stanley. Stanley, okay, we are recording. I am the Bureau Chief, and I have, I'm out in Chantilly, Virginia, at my state today, going out of the Washington, D.C. area, and have a little update, some I want to read on the, from the Twitter. Now, this just goes to show how important it is that I be running for president. It's fun to come out into the countryside and ride my horses, but we've got some big, big problems going on with this free speech in the Twitter, although I must say I'm a little bit conflicted, because... I do have myocarditis, as I have disclosed. I took the jab, I failed to perceive the memo, and take caution. So, I took the jab and it did do some damage. Now we know that many of, many of my colleagues knew that they were not to take the jab, only to stage that and to fake it. As will many politicians. Of course, Bill Gates doesn't take the jabs, nor do any of the big wigs. They all stage those, and that is clear. Now, here we got Professor Peter Hotez, MD, PhD, over on the Twitter. And he says, Spotify has stopped even sort of trying to stem Joe Rogan's quaxine misinformation. Or I should say, vaccine and misinformation. It's really true, just awful. And from all the online attacks I'm receiving after this absurd podcast, it's clear many actually believe this nonsense. And then, this professor does give a post to Vice Media, which was in bankruptcy, but then was rescued by the funds of George Soros. And then Joe Rogan, the largest podcaster that exists on the planet, stated, said, Peter, if you claim what RFK Jr. is saying is misinformation, I am offering you $100,000 to the charity of your choice if you are willing to debate him on my show with no time limit. Then Professor Hotel says, be serious, Joe. That's what you throw out for your hunting buddies on a weekend. A 50, excuse my hat, a 50 million endowment, which you, Spotify, RFK Jr., can easily afford. Not for me, but so we can continue making low-cost, patent-free vaccines for the world's poor, preceded by RFK Jr.'s public apology. Anyway, that tweet, Joe Rogan says, had been deleted. And then to the next one, we have uh, Mr. Peter, Professor Peter Hotez says, I am happy to come on and clear the air. I respect you and your show. I don't want an adversarial relationship. I think we can work well together. And then Joe Rogan responds to that statement and says, to those misunderstanding what he, the professor, is saying, he's not agreeing to come onto my show and debate Robert Kennedy Jr. He's just offering to come onto my show himself. And now, we got this one. Chief Nerd states, the Peter Hotels versus RFP Jr. charity debate pot is now over 1.52 million. 1.52 million that all these on the Twitter are offering is the leaderboard. There's one at Cobra Tate. He's offering a half million dollars to see this debate go on. Quarter million dollars, real Nick Magilly, Magulli. Then 150K for Bill Ackman, 100K for Joe Rogan, 100K for Patrick Bet David, 100K for Stephen Kirsch, 100K for Richard, or some MD, or so MD, 100K for Tim Cast, and on and on goes the list. Now, we got these things going crazy, going viral. I put down to have RFK Jr. debate me for the presidency as I am running, and I think that he and Mr. Trump are very, very dangerous. They are trying to upend the New World Order and the World Economic Forum. Now, I must admit I am a little bit in conflict as per my myocarditis and the damage that was done to me with the jab, but there is a greater purpose to the New World Order, and I stand with David Rockefeller in seeking to do as ought to be done, that is to bring in a New World Order where you do not have choice, where the state is God in all things, you must comply or be eliminated. That is the doctrine. That is what we, this Bureau, do stand for. That is what Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum, does stand for. Anyway, I thought I would share that update. It is getting lots of mileage. It is entertainment for some people. And that is very, very upsetting to me. Amid all the things that I want to do, I have hardly any traction. Yet these people up on free speech Twitter, just going on and on without any hindrance to what they're saying. And they have eliminated, as much as they can, tell my agents out of the Bureau.